Sometimes you just need to say it. But that's what if we get a press G, you get your ass outside and get it contained. OK, I told you this quarterback runs. Keep him in the pocket. You got me. You better quit shitting around. I'm not having this bullshit. Yeah. You better get your minds right or I'll get them yeah. right for you. I can listen to that a thousand times. Sometimes you need something like that. Sometimes you need somebody to, to light a fire up under you. And Mike Zimmer looked like he's going to be able to do that. We'll see how the meeting goes. It's between Mike Zimmer and Riverboat Ron <laughs> Rivera. So let me know. And look, let's not leave out the other Mike. You know, Mike Vabral. That's, that's another dude. Or in-house. Let me know how y'all feel. No doubt. And um, this is all my thoughts right here. The Cowboys need structure on defense. Yeah, we can go about it in a few ways. Either the Cowboys can go with retreads or they can kick open the unknown. And you got Joe Witt Jr. And then you have Durday. Those are the two guys that they may elevate. And I don't know the uh, conversational piece of Al Harris. But if it was me personally, if it's going to be somebody in-house, it would be Joe Witt Jr. I know that there was rumblings and storylines that he will be going to the command but put a pause on that they at least got to interview him to see whether or not they would like to keep him so there's no guarantees that he will go over to the commanders and on top of that you got ron rivera so ron rivera you know he's another retread his claim to fame 85 bears who remember them uh and on top of that he took a team to the Super Bowl, the Carolina Panthers in 2015, and a head coach for the Washington team. He really didn't do much there, and they have been on the bottom end of a lot of things. Coach Zim, if you think of Coach Zim, the other Mike, you know, the last time the Cowboys won the Super Bowl, he was on said team, right? He was on the Cowboys in 1995-96 season, and he was a defensive coordinator from 2000 all the way to 2006. The only time that we were ranked number four, number five, I believe number three defense was in 2003. I'm, I'm believing that we were the number one defense in the league, but that's a whole nother storyline because – the battle argument was, do we play a 3-4? Do we play a 4-3? Now, Coach Mike Zim, he is a guy that's going to coach up the defense a whole lot better from a philosophy standpoint of traditional set versus what we've seen with Dan Quinn of using safeties as linebackers. That's just the reality there. So where should the Cowboys go? In my opinion, they shouldn't rush this, but they should know this, right? The team that can get the most out of their players on defense, out of these guys, who can get the most? I'm hearing a lot of storylines of people saying that they would love to have fresh or newness to this defense. Like, this is another part of the equation. The Cowboys are in a lame duck season with Mike McCarthy. So if you bring in someone, they have to have the established relationship with Jerry Jones to understand that it, this could be a one-year deal or this could be a three-year deal or you could be the next head coach type of deal. So where should you go with that? That is the conundrum piece there. But neither here nor there. Let's listen to this breakdown of my guy, Mike Zimmer. This is just a nasty blitz by Mike Zimmer and the Vikings. They start with two linebackers mugged up in a gap like they usually do. It looks like they're going to decide on which linebacker is going to blitz based on which way to center points. So the center points to the linebacker on the right. They look like they look at each other and make a little bit of communication. So you know Kendrick's is going to blitz. The center slides to the side that he pointed to. So Kendrick blitzes while the other linebacker drops. This means that the running back has to pick up Kendrick, so he's really focused on him. And, and Kendrick doesn't blitz. Instead, he actually pins down the guard. And the running back assigned to him doesn't see the defensive tackle looping inside of him, which leads to a free runner on Sam Darnold. Uh, so it's just a really nice pressure scheme based on where the center points. Um, the funny thing is later in the game, in the second half, the center actually starts sliding in the opposite direction of where he points to. Um, and then eventually they just go back to um, not pointing at all or going back to their regular point and slide. No doubt, no doubt. So 
philosophy, principle, schemes. That is what you're going to get. And the Cowboys need just that. And I'm not saying that Dan Quinn didn't dial up plays for the interior guys to get free or to utilize the max capabilities of linebackers. But Coach Zim, he's going to bring that to the table. And like I said, I'm not advocating for only Coach Zim to be the, the new coach of the Dallas Cowboys. But they're going to bring him in and then they're going to bring up his resume pair that up to his knowledge and wisdom and understanding of the game and pair that up with Joe Witt Jr. Pair that up with uh, Aiden Durday. They're going to do all of those things and the Cowboys just got to make the proper decision. Now here is Roy Williams who used to play for the Cowboys by the way and also played with the Cincinnati Bengals with Mike Zim. Talk back to who was there and who coached you. Mike Zimmer. So yeah. former Vikings head coach, now fired. Um, players on his exit made some some interesting comments. And a lot of players uh, were saying, like, the the atmosphere around Mike Zimmer had become kind of like, you know, not always friendly, um, you know, not always welcoming or inviting sometimes. Um, and, and they didn't feel like, you know, they were buddy-buddy. Um, and, and, and a lot Let's of- Let's pause it right there. That buddy-buddy stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let's not feel that way because discipline goes two ways, right? And on top of that, there are penalties that you can call on the field, and then there's undisciplined penalties that you don't see. If you have foresight, you're supposed to come down and field. If it's a situation that it's a play that you're supposed to fill gaps, you're supposed to be there. And discipline could be, from a degree, are you in the right personnel packages? Right? Are you being utilized and used the correct way? It's not just flags or what have you. It's the undisciplined parts of this particular team that came about due to the friendly nature. But what was your experience um, with Mike Zimmer? Like, did you ever feel that way or were you always like, I know what kind of guy he is, whether he's nice to me or not? No, it's, uh, I, I love Coach Zim. I love, I mean, that's, that's my guy, you know, mm -hmm. and he got me, you know. Um, he challenged me just like my coach at Oklahoma challenged me, Mike, Mike Stoops. So, I mean, it, it felt like I went from my situation in college from Mike Stoops to Mike Zimmer. It was, it was that tough love, um, you know, call you any and every name in the book, <laughs> <laughs> but he, he knew what buttons to push to get the best result out of me. Just knowing which button to push and being in control of everything and speaking of control. Let's talk about control. And first and foremost, I'm talking about control body odor and that's anywhere. And all you have to do is shop.mando and get $5 off of your starter pack. And that's over 40% with promo code LAW shopmando.com. Let's go. And I personally, this is my routine. I use this body wash odor control. Yes, indeed. Full body control with Mando. They have the product here. And they also have deodorant that you apply under the arm for 72 hours of odor control. You want to be in control. And speaking of control, they also have the product that you can apply all over the body, the invisible cream, and it also fights for 72 hours. Look, it's all about being in control. And with Mando, man, they control body odor anywhere. All you have to do is shop dot mando get five dollars off your starter pack that's over 40 percent with promo code l a w shop mando.com let's go and let's stay in control of your order i love it just like you got to control that you got to control the football field and the cowboys must figure out a way ladies and gentlemen i'm not saying that mike zim is the guy i like mike vabrell I like the, the mindset if the Cowboys go with Joe Witt Jr., giving him a chance. Uh, Ron Rivera, I think that he will be more or better at a positional coach for us. Bring in Ron Rivera as a linebackers coach or a, a coordinator to that degree. But here's what I'm thinking. Cowboys, just make sure that you make the right moves and everything else will work its way out. Post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns down below. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember... You're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys.